portion of central Italy is dealing with the aftermath of a series of strong earthquakes. The powerful tremors hit the region today and continued into the night. And as Fox's Steve Rappaport explains now, at least one death has been linked to the quakes. Multiple powerful earthquakes jolting central Italy late Wednesday, damaging homes and buildings, reducing some to rubble, including historic churches. It was something I can't even begin to describe. We were really scared, everything started to shake, and things started falling down on us. I can't put it into words. These tremors come just months after a deadly 6.2 magnitude earthquake hit Italy back in August, killing nearly 300 people. Meantime, Wednesday's first quake hit just after 7 p.m. local time and measured a magnitude of 5.4. I was at home, inside when the first quake hit, and then we went out because the earth kept moving all the time. The more serious damage was caused by the second quake. Around 9.18 p.m., a more powerful 6.1 quake followed, with another less powerful aftershock coming some two hours later. Fortunately, authorities say many people left their homes when the first quake hit, so they were not inside when the more powerful second tremor came, possibly saving lives. At the moment, we are trying to manage the emergency situation and take care of the people who are outside, give them at least the minimum of comfort because they've experienced a major shock. So we're trying to at least have some hot drinks available. The epicenters were all in Italy's Marche region, but caused damage in Rome and were felt as far north as Venice, some 180 miles away. Steve Rappaport, Fox News.